Chapter 15 Pride of India Let's learn the national symbols, national flag, national anthem, national song, national emblem, national bird, national animal, national tree, national flower, national fruit. In India, people speak different languages, eat a variety of food, wear different kinds of dresses and follow different religions. Hindus, Muslims, Christians, Sikhs, Jains, Buddhists, Zoroastrians and people who follow other faiths live together in perfect harmony. They celebrate many religious and social festivals such as Holi, Diwali, Eid, Christmas, Gurupurab, Buddha Jayanti and so on. This unity in diversity is unique to India. In spite of this diversity, we all are Indians. Our country is secular. This means that everyone is free to follow the religion of one's choice. Our constitution does not favor or discriminate on the basis of religion. There is single citizenship. This means that every citizen living in India is a citizen of India. The National Symbols As an independent country, we have our national symbols such as national flag, national song, national anthem and national emblem. They represent our unity and identity. We also celebrate national festivals like Republic Day on the 26th of January, Independence Day on the 15th of August and Gandhi Jayanti on 2nd October every year. On the first two occasions, the national flag is hoisted and the national anthem is sung. Gandhi Jayanti is a day for prayers and tributes. National Flag The national flag is a horizontal tricolor of deep saffron, kesri at the top, white in the middle and dark green at the bottom in equal proportion. The saffron color indicates the strength and courage of the country. The white middle band indicates the values of peace and truth with the Dharma Chakra. The last band in green color shows the fertility, growth and auspiciousness of the land. In the center of the white band, there is a navy blue wheel. Its design is that of the wheel which appears on the abacus of the Sarnath, lion capital of Ashoka. The Chakra wheel shows that there is life in movement and death in stagnation. It has 24 spokes. The people of India hoist the national flag on 15th August and 26th January every year. They stand up before the flag and sing the national anthem, paying honour to the country. The national flag is kept hoisted on all days of the year on the top of the government buildings and courts. When a very important person of our country passes away, the national flag is brought down to half-mast. The national flag is also hoisted on the buildings of the Indian Embassy in foreign countries. Info High The design of the national flag was adopted by the Constituent Assembly of India on 22nd July 1947. On 26 January 2002, the flag code was changed. After 52 years, the citizens of India are free to fly the national flag over their homes, offices and factories on any day. Now Indians can proudly display the national flag anywhere and at any time. There are some rules and regulations on the correct code to fly the flag based on the 26 January 2002 legislation. These include the following. The don'ts. The flag cannot be used for communal gains, drapery or clothes. As far as possible, it should be flown from sunrise to sunset, irrespective of the weather. The do's. The national flag may be hoisted in educational institutions, schools, colleges, sports camps, scout camps, etc. to inspire respect for the flag. An oath of allegiance has been included in the flag hoisting in schools. The flag cannot be intentionally allowed to touch the ground or the floor or trail in the water. It cannot be draped over the hood, top and sides or back of vehicles, trains, boats or aircrafts. 
a member of public, a private organization or an educational institution may hoist or display the national flag on all days and occasions, ceremonial or otherwise, consistent with the dignity and honor of the national flag. No other flag or holding can be placed higher than the flag. Also, no object, including flowers or garlands or emblems, can be placed on or above the flag. The tricolor cannot be used as festoon, rosset or bunting. Section 2 of the new code accepts the right of all private citizens to hoist the flag on their premises. There are strict laws regarding its manufacturing and its hoisting. The official flag specifications require the flag to be made up of only khadi. Raw materials for khadi are restricted to cotton, silk and wool. National Anthem The Indian National Anthem, Janakana Mana, composed originally in Bengali by Rabindranath Tagore, was adopted in its Hindi version by the Constituent Assembly as the National Anthem of India on 24th January 1950. It was first sung on 27 December 1911 at the Calcutta session of the Indian National Congress. The complete song consists of five stanzas. National Song The song Vande Mataram, composed in Sanskrit by Bankim Chandra Chatterjee, was a source of inspiration to the people in their struggle for freedom. It has an equal status with Janakana Mana. The first political occasion when it was sung was the 1896 session of the Indian National Con National Emblem the national emblem of India is an adaptation of the lion capital of Ashoka at Sarnath, near Varanasi in the state of Uttar Pradesh. It has four lions resting on a circular abacus. The fourth lion is on the rear and hence hidden from view. The emblem symbolizes power, courage and confidence. The abacus is girded by four smaller animals, guardians of the four directions, the lion of the north, the elephant of the east, the horse of the south, and the bull of the west. This pedestal rests on a lotus in full bloom, signifying life and inspiration. The motto, Satyamev Jayati, is inscribed below the emblem. It means, truth alone triumphs. You must have seen the emblem of three lions printed on currency notes, coins, books and official papers of the government. National Bird The peacock is the national bird of India. It is symbolic of qualities like beauty and grace. A bird indigenous to the subcontinent, the peacock represents the unity of vivid colours and finds references in Indian culture. National Animal Indian tiger is the national animal of India and the symbol of India's wealth of wildlife. The Magnificent Tiger Panthera tigris is a striped animal. It has a thick yellow coat of fur with dark stripes. The combination of grace, strength, agility and enormous power has earned the tiger its pride of place as the national animal of India. There are six extant tiger species in the world today. The Indian species, the Royal Bengal Tiger, is found throughout the country except in the northwestern region and also in the neighbouring countries of Nepal, Bhutan and Bangladesh. National Tree The National Tree of India is the Banyan Tree. This huge tree towers over its neighbours and has the widest canopy. Its size and leafy shelter are valued in India as a place of rest and reflection not to mention protection from the hot sun. It is still the focal point and gathering place for local councils and meetings in villages. National Flower Lotus is the national flower of India. This sacred flower occupies a unique position in the tradition and mythology of ancient India. It has been an auspicious symbol of Indian culture since time immemorial. The lotus symbolizes divinity, fertility, wealth, knowledge and not to forget enlightenment. National Fruit The mango is the national fruit of India. It has been cultivated in India since time immemorial. 
There are 30 well-known varieties of mangoes in India in a wide range of colors, sizes and shapes. Info Hype The bark and seeds of the mango tree can be used as a tonic to maintain body temperature and treat diabetes. Recap the national flag is kept hoisted on all days of the year on the top of government buildings and courts. Satyamev Jayati means truth alone triumphs. The tiger is the symbol of India's wealth of wildlife.